Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ridgebacks Rumble Talk, and we're joined today by Matt or Matthew Bardwell from the men's basketball team. How are you doing, Matt? I'm good. How are you? Doing pretty well. Thank you very much. How's your day been so far? It's going good. How's yours? I know you just had a midterm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun times, fun times, but it is what it is. Good thing that we're here to finally chat and just forget about all that stuff. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this past season, just right off the bat, I saw that you were number nine for that season. So why did you go with number nine? Is that a number you've always had all the way from high school or is that just something you chose? No, it was, um, it was really just uh, the, a number that was left for me, to be honest. The uh, usual number that I wear is either like 10 or 15, but uh, those are already taken by uh, guys that, that were uh, have like more experience in the league than me, you know? Nice. Okay, so like number nine was just like just what you just went with. But in the future, like if you, yeah. if you go with 10, 15, one of those kind of numbers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, that's sick. That's sick. And I can also see that you're from Tecumseh. So all the way in Windsor. No, I wasn't yeah. super familiar with the area, but I've been in Windsor for a little bit. And that's pretty far drive. I'm going to say almost a four hour drive. So Yeah, it's about, it about four and a half hours uh, to Oshawa, yeah. Four and a half, my goodness. So what yeah. made you come all the way down to Oshawa to play for Ontario Tech? What was that decision? Um, uh, it was really just, uh, the con well, first the connection from uh, the prep school that I was at. The, um, my coach there, he knew Coach Greg, Greg Francis here. And uh, he set me up with him. I uh, thought it would be a good experience to move somewhere near Toronto, for sure. And uh, it was one of my options, so I thought it was a good idea to come here. Yes. And have you have you been able to explore Toronto a whole lot? Like just since you've been in Ontario Tech? Um, not too much, to be honest. I haven't really gone into Toronto too much since, since I moved here. Definitely be so something to do, though, for sure. Yeah. Like, there's a whole lot to get involved with. Of course, it's yeah. more difficult to do stuff, but something yeah. to do for sure. And you also mentioned that you used to play baseball a whole lot, like, oh, during your upbringing. What made you choose basketball over baseball? Um, I uh, really just, uh, I don't know, it was just just based on what, it, what I wanted to do most. I, I felt like I could see myself, like, getting better at basketball more yeah. um, and baseball had a couple of injuries that that really brought me down a bit but it was nice to have both options that's why I wanted to play both like all throughout high school and everything keep yeah. as many doors open as possible for opportunities which one do you think like you were much better at between the two baseball or basketball um I always thought it was kind of the same okay uh, um and yeah i just chose basketball because I, I liked it more i like watching it more stuff like that all right that's sick so like, what what's your favorite basketball team then uh the raptors yeah hey, sure. that's sick. yeah <laughs> okay so moving like on that note of coming down to ontario tech to play basketball you said that you're coaching you greg francis you had that connection already did you know any teammates before coming into the squad, or did you just meet everyone afresh when you first came in? Um, not not really anyone, but just a couple guys from. Um, so actually, the first time that I uh, talked to Coach Greg here, uh, I talked to him over the phone, and he the first thing he said to me was uh, that he invited me to a tournament in France, and that that obviously blew my mind right away. I wasn't expecting that, and. Um, and then yeah, so a couple of guys on the team now they uh, they went to that tournament there in France, and uh, we got to know each other uh, through that. Nice, nice. What else did you guys get up to? Like, did you get to do some sightseeing and whatnot all the way? In no, not at all. None of that. We were staying out in the middle of nowhere, not not in not in uh, Paris or not in a big city. True. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Maybe in the future. Basketball could take you all the way down to France again. Never. Yeah. yeah but we'll see how it I is. wasn't expecting that at all. True. 
I mean, I would be mind blown too if I was in your shoes. For sure. yeah. That's great. So, moving like on to the season, of course, you've had a couple of games you played with the team. You've gotten to know some people better as well on bond. Who would you say are some of the people that you've gotten pretty close to on the team so far? Um, probably uh, my roommate last year was uh, Dion. Okay. So we got to live together last year and. Uh, also, now this year, I'm living with uh, Chris and uh, Roy and Kalik. Okay. So, I'm getting to know them a lot more. Nice, nice. That's good. So, in terms of now the actual basketball itself, the first training session, I don't know whether that was in France when you had the tournament or let's just say the first training session on campus when you actually got the, let's just say yeah. everybody's styles where what the team philosophy and all of that. What was that first session like and getting adjusted to a different style of play with Ontario type? Yeah, it was um, it was definitely really interesting because as a first year team, especially, it was a bunch of guys who were trying to prove themselves. So everyone was really hungry from the start, trying to solidify a spot on the team um, and try and show co the coaches what, what they can do. And I feel like we had a lot of guys that were really close uh, close in like skill or that like we're that we're in the same kind of position you know yeah. so every everyone was really hungry from the start and uh kind of continue like that through the year and even more now this year now that we've gotten a taste of what the league's like yeah exactly and then that hunger is of course just even going to drive up even more because now we've had that first season gotten to have that experience the team now really wants to make their mark in that sense. So, of yeah. course, you play a couple of games too. I've seen you have a pretty nice three point shot too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> high school footage as well. What would you say? Maybe not even that, maybe it's something else, but what would you say is like the best part of your game overall that you're really proud of? Um, yeah, I'd say uh, my shooting is definitely something that I've been known for throughout my whole life from when I first started, but uh, also just like just making good decisions and uh, being smart on the court, something that I feel um, my teammates appreciate. And that's that's very true. I remember at Queens, I saw that highlight too. He scored a three-pointer and hustled all the way back, got a steal again, and then restarted the play. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah. You have that. And just overall, let's say in the past two or three years, maybe in Ontario Tech, maybe in high school in Windsor, what would you say is your has been your major highlight that you really look back and maybe you got tears of joy, I don't know, but you really look <laughs> Um I'd say probably just the the moment when I, I signed to the school here. Okay. It, it was it was like it felt like a big weight off my back, you know, getting getting the process over with with recruitment and everything. Yeah. Some so at some points you feel like you might not even make it and and then the moment that you do make it, it feels really good for sure. Yeah. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, after all the hard work for sure. And yeah. grind. It's just, it's yeah. just awesome. So now looking back, not not necessarily looking back, moving forward, what would you say the future of Ontario Tech basketball then looks like from your perspective? Um I'd probably say um what's it called? Um just that we're going to try to work as a team because since we had a bunch of first-year guys coming in last year, we can uh, all grow together and uh, build good team chemistry if we all stick together for four or five years, whatever it is. So I think we can really uh, become a team that knows each other's strengths and weaknesses really well and uh, just grow in the league together. Exactly. I agree. That chemistry is going to be a super, super important factor of the whole thing, of course. A bunch of yeah. guys together. Yeah, chemistry won't be flowing at first, but eventually that bond's going to come and it's going to make such a huge impact. So I'm looking forward yeah. to it. All right, so transitioning a bit just to learn more about you as a person, Matt, now. Not necessarily too far away from basketball, but still away from basketball in that sense. I'm just going to ask you just a couple of random questions. Like, for example, what would you say is one thing you wish a lot of people, a lot more people knew about you, for example? Sorry, something that a lot of people know about me? 
a lot of people you wish a lot of people knew about you oh um I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a tough question. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe so that's a tough question. <laughs> I don't know what I would say. We yeah, ask the tough questions on Rumble. Talk. Um, yeah. Um, probably some something that's a bit different. Maybe that uh, I like. I like to wake up early. You know. I like to uh, put uh, put in my work like early in the morning, get something accomplished. Yeah. Something that feel like getting something accomplished at the beginning of the day makes you makes your day that much better. Makes you gives you that little boost through the day, you know. Yeah, I agree. So you for sure you're an early bird. Is that mean yeah. you don't like late night practice sessions? You don't. Do no, it, I cuss into my sleep. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. That's very true. All right, and then now, just in terms to see what you like to eat, for example, what would you say that there's what's one food that you can eat for the rest of your life? That if that was mm -hmm. all, so something that I've been making a lot lately is yeah. a lot of stir fries. Okay, I just like to put in like your beef or chicken, veggies and rice, and then uh, just get to mix it up with different kind of sauces every time. So it gives you a little variety there. Yeah, so that's exquisite. Would you say you make the best stir fry, or where did you learn? <laughs> uh, I don't have too much experience. I, I'd say I'm a rookie at that right now, so I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's pretty good though. Pretty good. All right. Yeah. All right. That's impressive, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's another question I wanted to ask, and this is just out of pure curiosity. I saw this name, Danny Lupus. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, what? Who is who is? Uh, Danny? <laughs> yeah that's uh that's one of my boys from back home uh just one of my best friends um i don't even know uh i put it there one time in my uh in my bio one time on instagram because yeah. i think so someone just got us mixed up and th thought i was him I, I just put it in there one time i, I don't know why <laughs> <laughs> I but then i just i just kept it there it just stuck i mean i mean if, if it's a good Good memory just to have there. Maybe it's even a <laughs> joke. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, you can just leave it. So now looking at your hometown for sure. I know you said you came all the way down to Oshawa. You also were pretty intrigued by Toronto too. You wanted to see some sights and sounds in the area. But looking at your hometown, then what would you say are some of your favorite things you like to do all the way there? Um, definitely one of the good things about being in Windsor or the the area there. Uh, as you're really close to uh, Detroit and Michigan in the States. Yeah. You get to do a lot of good shopping there. Or you can go see a Pistons game, whatever. That's, that's definitely one of the good factors because because you're so far away from all the other big cities in, uh, in Ontario. They're so much quicker to just go over to the States and yeah. do a lot of cool things there. Yeah, that's definitely good. Do you go to the Riverside a whole lot too? Um. Yeah, sometimes. I yeah, it's a good view there. They have a nice, nice um, fountain on the waterfall. It's right, right where the, there's a lot of nice houses and everything right on the waterfront for sure. That's true. And you usually go whenever they have uh, the fireworks shows. Have you ever gone for those as well? Is that like a tradition? Um, no, I've, I've never gone to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, I don't know. They, they usually just have fireworks at other places too. I've never gone to the Definitely should try to go. Yeah. It'd, it'd be nice for sure. Sure. So it's, it's always a good sight. I think I saw yeah. it. Yeah. Definitely like that. So just in general, let's say away from school, studying kinesiology and away from basketball when you're grinding on the court, what do you like to do in your days off just in general? Um, uh, I usually, I usually just, um, uh, I've been I've been doing a lot of yoga actually. That's something I've been trying out lately because of quarantine. Gave me a lot of time uh, to like really open up my body. It's a good good thing to do on day off. It's not not too hard to do, but gets your blood moving. Uh, really stretches you out good. Something I try to do on my off days for sure. I really I do it every day, but I try to get a lot more in on on my off days. 
And then who, who introduced you to that? Like who got you into that? Do you have like a mentor who said, I recommend yoga to you? Mm. I, I guess really uh, being in kinesiology and uh, really just trying to look at all the different like um, different ways that you can improve your your body and um, and your mind and everything. I was just just looking up new ways to to improve myself. I guess that's that's important. And even on on that note of kinesiology, what inspired you to choose that as your major? What attracted you to that program? Um, I guess just in uh, in high school, uh, I I honestly didn't really know like what what I really wanted to do, but I wanted it to just be something that uh, that I had a passion for and that I enjoyed to do. So in that sport related field, I still don't really know uh, like what I want to end up doing, yeah. but uh, just something in that field that that I enjoy and like to do. For sure, I mean, I'm I'm positive that eventually you will figure it out. 100%. The, so, you yeah. get there. And looking, let's say you had a fantastic time in high school, at least maybe from my perspective. I just looked up just random stuff. I saw that you were even on an all star <laughs> team once in the showcase. <laughs> yeah. And then let's say coming over to university basketball, or just how the different lifestyle is taking university courses while playing at the OUA level or whatnot. What would you say is one thing you're really proud of that you did that prepared you for this kind of unique experience? And what would you say is one thing you wish you did back in high school that would have helped you a whole lot better now? Um, yeah, one thing that prepared me, I, I'd just say is um, how kind of like how I said earlier, like always keeping my, uh, my options open, keeping all doors open, you know, um, like playing playing two sports growing up, it it always uh, gave you good balance and um, like it it uh, it might give you some skills in a sport that you don't necessarily train in basketball, like that you can get in baseball, and um, and yeah, just uh, just not not quitting on on those types of things. So always always showing up every day and just giving it my all. And then um, one thing that I would change from high school would probably be. Um, just being like more more organized that's something that i realized uh coming into university yeah. and uh the the responsibility that comes uh with just being a student alone that you you got to be organized with everything and keep track of everything yeah that's true so how do you now keep track of just all the things you have to do all together what system you set up now um just really one thing is uh like planning my days the night before like to like have have a schedule of that, and then also just have like a, a whiteboard calendar that to keep track of like all my due dates and everything, everything coming up. Sure, sure, sure. That's important. And, I mean, it's not really a bad thing that I guess you didn't have. You said you wish you did that before. You've learned it now, and that's what matters eventually. So, yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> and. I also heard through the grapevine that you're pretty pretty good at beach volleyball too. I think you missed that <laughs> when you mentioned baseball and basketball. So now, yeah, where'd you hear that? I heard it. You know, you're Matthew. We have to just know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But how how good are you at beach volleyball? Um, I say I'm pretty good. Um, but yeah, I I, play, I played volleyball uh, just like in high school. Like uh, for the high school team, and uh, yeah, we we uh, we went to Offsa. Our school, our uh, team went to Offsa for that, and uh, I think I was like a third team all star for for uh, the city in Windsor. You're pretty up. Not not too bad. So if you had the option, was that something that you said you'd like to keep your options open? I mean, would you say that's something that you you could have actually considered as potentially going into to play that? Yeah, it's it's something I could have considered, but uh, I was more focused on uh, baseball and basketball. That that took up most of my time, so I I just play volleyball when when the season came around. You know. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So on that note, I actually want to play another game altogether. Before we now talk about family and all of that, and then we can wrap up just in general. And the name of the game is just the alphabet quiz. So 
I'm going to say every single letter from A to Z and just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind <laughs> for every single letter. Just quick. Uh, uh, A. Uh, apple. B. Basketball. B. Uh, cat. B. Uh, dog. B. Eggs. F. Mm, future. <laughs> sorry, you said E? Yeah. Or uh, G, yeah, sorry. Um, Gatorade. <laughs> H. Uh, horse. Horse. I. Um, Iguodala. I don't know why that came to my mind. <laughs> Andre Iguodala. <laughs> Okay, J. Um, jogging. Okay, K. Uh, koala. No. <laughs> L. Um, llamas. I think a lot of animals right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> M. Um, Matt. Yes, I just need the... that. <laughs> N. Um, Nap time. I'm thinking about nap time right now. <laughs> okay. O. Oh, octopus. Octopus. P. Mm. Penguin. Penguin. You really love animals for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what all I'm thinking of right now, apparently. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, Q. Mm. A quarter. Quarter, nice. R. Um. Raspberry. Raspberry. S. Snake. Snake. T. T. Um. Tortoise. Tortoise. U. Um. Umbrella. Umbrella. Okay. Yeah. Wait. I forgot my alphabet. Oh my gosh. Is it V? Uh, v. Yeah. V. Um. Violin. Violin. Okay. W. Um, watermelon. X. X. X ray. Okay. Y. Y. Um. <laughs> uh, York. Okay. And Z. Um, zebra. Gotta finish it off with an animal. <laughs> I think I probably counted maybe like 11 or 12 different animals. That's that. Yeah. That's something we forgot to talk about, but okay. <laughs> On that note, then maybe you feel whether it's your love for animals, apparently, or your love for basketball and baseball, volleyball, the different sides to everything to your whole life. How would you say your family has influenced that, Matt? Um, yeah, uh, both my sisters, uh, both my older sisters growing up, they, they all played sports. Uh, they, they played basketball and uh, they played softball instead of baseball. And they even played volleyball too. And my parents even played played those sports too. And uh, yeah, they, they uh, gave, I think they gave me like the solid foundation that I needed in terms of whether it's teaching me the beginning skills of the sport or just like the, uh, the kind of char characteristics that you need to uh, excel in sports. So yeah. They provided me with with that solid foundation to to like uh, start me off. Great. So the mindset for sure, you can attribute all of that to them. And what would you say? What was it like? Let me just say, growing up all together in winter. And like, do your parents usually come out for a lot of your games too? Yeah, they they try to not miss very many games at all. <laughs> at least uh, at least they'll, they'll come to like all, all our home games and. The only ones they'll miss is like when we're out in Ottawa or up north, something like that. Yeah, so some crazy, crazy distances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So on that note, now that we talked about family and pretty much everything else, what would you say is your final message to the world? The final message to the world? Um, uh, just that I'm excited to get back on the, out on the court and, uh, play next year show show everyone uh how much that we've improved as a team still got a lot of a lot of time to practice more so 
I think there will be a big difference in uh, how we play from last year compared to the next year, for sure. Definitely. I can see that happening. And we're all looking so much forward to that moment. And I know you're going to shine a lot, Matt. So keep uh, Thank you. <laughs> you do what you're doing. And thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me.